Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMade.com. I'm excited to show you how to build my DIY blanket ladder, which is one of my most favorite and simplest build projects that I've ever done. It's a really great beginner woodworking project as well because the only tools you need are a miter saw, hammer, and a drill, and it's just really easy as well. <laughs> also, this blanket ladder only costs less than $15 in lumber to build, so it's really cheap, which is always a great thing. Before we get started, make sure you download my free printable build plans, which are available in my free printable library, which is linked below. Alright, let's get started with building this DIY blanket ladder. First, gather the supplies you will need. For materials, you're going to need two 2x3s at 8 feet, one and one quarter inch round wood dowels at 6 and a half feet, wood glue, masking tape or painter's tape, one and a quarter inch spade drill bit, also, I've linked all the materials that I've used in this project below, as well as a link to the full tutorial. Begin by making the lumber cuts for your blanket ladder. From your 2x3 lumber, cut two pieces at 76 inches long. I chose to cut the bottom of each piece at a 10 degree angle so that the blanket ladder would sit on the wall and lean better from the ground. Next, cut your round wood dowel rods into four 18 and a half inch long pieces. Step two is to mark the drill holes on the blanket ladder side pieces. Measure 13 and 5 eighths inches down from the top of one of the two by three side pieces and mark a line. Then measure one and one quarter inches in from the side of the two by three piece to create a center point mark for your first hole. And I used a square for this, which made it really easy. Next, from that first hole mark, measure 14 and 1 quarter inches down and mark a line again. Then measure 1 and 1 quarter inches in from the side to create a second center point mark for where the second hole will be drilled. Continue this process two more times until all four holes are marked. The holes will be equally spaced 13 inches apart from each other once they are all drilled. After doing this on the first 2x3 piece, go ahead and repeat these steps on the second blanket ladder side piece so that the holes will be marked at the exact same measurements on each side piece. Step 3 is to drill the blanket ladder holes. Place a piece of painter's tape or masking tape 3 quarter inches from the bottom of the wide part of the spade drill bit. This is to ensure that you drill the holes at the correct depth. And it also really helps to clamp your 2x3s down to secure them from moving while drilling the holes. Go ahead and line up the center point of the spade drill bit with your hole mark and drill the hole until the blue tape is at the same level as the surface of the wood. It's important to note that if you've never used a spade drill bit before, it helps to practice drilling a hole first on a scrap piece of wood. After drilling all eight holes, I went ahead and sanded my 2x3s at this point before I attached the dowel rods into the blanket ladder. Step four is to attach the wood dowel rods to the blanket ladder sides. Apply wood glue to the bottom of one of the 18 and a half inch dowel rod pieces and then also apply the wood glue inside one of the side piece holes that you drilled. Then insert the wood pole into the hole. Next, tap the wood dowel poles into the holes with a mallet hammer or hammer gently to ensure they are all the way inserted into the depth of the drilled holes. Go ahead and repeat this wood glue step for the other three holes on the two by three. Finally, attach the second two by three side piece with wood glue again and tap again with a hammer. building our DIY blanket ladder, I applied a burnwood weather gray finish to it, which I love. And you can get the tutorial for how to create this finish in my 
Leather Wood Recipe ebook, which I've linked below. I just love our DIY blanket ladder so much. It makes our living room feel really cozy and look extra cute. Don't forget to download the free printable build plans, which are linked below. Thanks again for watching, and please subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects and free build plans.